Yes. Look, um, this is about a moment in time. This is about what America's going to do. Could you imagine if we were sitting here and we listened further to a Gates and Mace that we were in a shutdown? That we, as we asked our 30,000 men and women in the military in the Middle East to defend us without being paid? That the question around the world of what was happening here today that's a decision by the conference. I'll allow the conference to make whatever decision. Whether I'm speaker or not, I'm a member of this body. I know what history has had, and I can lead in any position it is. And right now, I realize we need these five actions taken now and stop delaying. Yes. Look, unfortunately, the House can do nothing without a speaker. I could be upset with eight, but I could be upset with every single Democrat as well. They both made the same decision, a political decision, instead of putting America first. And so you have to finish the speaker, or I know this is new territory. It was created after 9-11. I don't understand why the speaker pro tem couldn't lead as well. We should have a resolution on the floor condemning what's taken place so the rest of the world understands. We should supply and make sure that there's no question and no doubt that Israel will never be overwhelmed when it comes to ammunition. That if they decide to send the precision guided missiles, that they will be knocked down. We should send no doubt to anyone that holds an American citizen that we will not leave without them. This will not be Afghanistan. We will not allow this administration to do this again. Yes. Look, I'm going to allow the conference to do their work, but the one thing I would ask my conference, you have 96% of the conference in one place and you're allowing 4% with the Democrats playing politics that now are putting a doubt inside this body. That is wrong. 